Every summer, a hidden lake high in the Himalayas melts and reveals hundreds of human skeletons, all from different eras, all dying the exact same way. So what actually happened at Skeleton Lake? Rupkund Lake sits nearly 5,000 meters above sea level in India. For most of the year, it's sealed under ice. But when the snow melts, the water becomes crystal clear, exposing over 300 human skeletons scattered around the lake bed. When British forest rangers first reported it in the 1940s, people thought it was a battlefield, a mass murder site, even a lost army. But modern DNA analysis proved something stranger. They weren't all from the same group. Some skeletons are over 1,000 years old, while others are from around the 1800s, meaning people died here in multiple separate events. Researchers found fractures on the skulls that matched spherical blunt force trauma, as if they were struck by fast, round objects from above. That's when scientists proposed the leading theory. A sudden, massive hailstorm with ice the size of cricket balls, hitting trapped travelers with no shelter. At that altitude, there's nowhere to hide and the injuries match perfectly. But here's the part that still raises questions. Why did groups living centuries apart all end up at the same remote lake and die the same way? And why were some skeletons genetically unrelated locals, while others came from a Mediterranean-like lineage thousands of kilometers away? Rupkund Lake doesn't just hold a mass grave. It holds multiple unsolved stories frozen in one place. And every time the ice melts, the mountain reveals another secret.